What's the haps? I'm Maroka and say I'm gonna be taking an early look at Orion, Legacy of the Coriodan by Kiru Games, I think that is. I don't know quite how to pronounce that, it's probably wrong. This is a studio claiming to be the first games development studio based in Cameroon, which is quite the claim. And they are making here a 2D action RPG based around African fantasy. Which is really interesting. That's really kind of cool. That's not something I've ever particularly seen explored very well. So, I'm very interested to take a look at this. So I head on in, I've got a saved game. I should note I'm recording this in full screen, not windowed mode, because I had real trouble actually getting the game to run well in windowed mode. For some reason there's some weird stuttering in windowed mode. So there's gonna be black bars on the video, sorry about that, but not a lot I can do. Rest assured it seems to work fine in full screen mode, just I can't, is it weird in windowed mode? I don't know. Something to iron out. But as always, this is sort of, this is an early product. This is a demo to support a Kickstarter. So, yeah, it's not, it's not going to be the finished product here. That's not what I'm showing you. So, we have a 2D action RPG kind of thing. We have, this basically kind of the overworld. The game gives you a tutorial bit and then skips you ahead to a little further in the story where you've got some, a couple of characters to work with, some abilities to work with, some items and stuff. And says, head on in, go go play with your abilities so you can kind of explore the game a bit. So the first thing that will strike you is the art style. It's got a fantastic art style, I love the art style of this. The animations are maybe a little crude in places, I mean if I... Not that there's much room to run because I'm going to get into a fight if I go up to that guy, but uh, the walk cycle, he kind of slides along the floor a little bit. Which, uh, some of the animations could maybe use a little bit of tightening up, but it's generally pretty good. The game runs at like 60 FPS, but I also feel like the animations in some cases are probably below 60 FPS, which looks a little bit janky. If they could, if they could, if the animation quality could match the art quality, it would be fantastic. As it is, it's it's halfway there, so it's looking pretty good. Let's let's have a fight. Let's fight a guy. If we walk up to this guy, we're gonna get into a fight, so we can show you the combat system. They claim to have been inspired by the Tales series, you know, Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Vesperia, Tales of something here. Yeah, lots, there are lots of them. And they all have a roughly similar-ish kind of combat system, and it's pretty easy to see where, see the inspirations. So, we've got a series of platforms, enemies around, and I can run and jump and use... I can press X to do some melee attacks. We've got, you can see all the abilities uh, next to the characters. I've kind of got the, the female character, the, the, the main protagonist's wife, she can be summoned in combat, but she kind of isn't on the battlefield until you tell her what to do. So with left trigger and left stick, I can tell her to do a flame attack or a healing attack. And with Y and left stick, I can I can do some abilities myself. So let's do that. We've got Spark of Wrath. It's kind of a fireball kind of deal. And Shaka's Fist, if I can get close, is just a much more powerful attack. I should probably get my wife to come do some healing, because I'm kind of lowish on health here. So, she's got quite a potent healing ability, so that, 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 that'll top you up pretty well most of the time. Let's go again. Come on, heal me up. I guess, I guess she needs to be able to channel it a little while. There we go, I'm back up to full health. So the main meat of the combat system is not this. You can see in the top left we've got items, which are on the, on the D-pad. Uh, we've also got Orions, where, from which the game takes its name. Now, this is a thing that, it, it's, it's the main core of the combat system. I don't know whether the name comes from anything in African, like, mythology or anything. I'm intrigued as to how much of the game is based on genuine African mythology and what's just been made up for the game. But because I don't know anything about the subject, it's kind of, kind of hard to tell. So, if I, if I can, I can get out of a fight for a moment, if I can stop getting myself killed here. Can I get onto a platform where I'm not going to get killed? Probably not. Let's get some healing up. And that'll let me... Let's go into Wrath mode. We've got Wrath and I think the other one is Honor. That'll... Got the AP meter, which will allow me to use my abilities here. So I've got... Aggressive Outburst. A Furious Combo. Let's do a Furious Combo. That's better. And that AP meter is going to drain the whole time I'm in this kind of mode. The Orionic State, the game calls it. So that gives you... It's basically going to... It's going to buff you and give you a lot of extra abilities and a lot more power, but your AP, your action meter, is going to drain over time. You can regen, regen that at any time by pressing down and holding down. Yeah, fortunately, that guy doesn't seem too keen on attacking me at this moment in time. So I've got a brief moment to recharge that. 
So you can recharge that like that. You got a you got a lot of abilities also on stamina, so you kind of got a dash that allows you to allows you to move around the are arena pretty quickly and avoid attacks and things. I thought I think it's kind of like maybe a, a brief moment of invincibility frame there as well, where you can kind of dodge stuff with that. So that's good for evading abilities. That uh, that'll regenerate slowly over time. AP pretty much only recharges by regenerating it like that. And you're going to need that to do the thing, so let's go into the other stance, we've got our Honor Stance, there we go. So that gives us a couple of other abilities, we've got Infinity Scanner, which is a kind of a whirlwindy kind of thing, and then Ancest Ancestral Rush, which is just some very heavy attacks. And then we can keep charging up. Whilst we're in the Orionic State, if we manually charge it like this by pressing down, we can go over the standard limit, so my base limit to begin with is 145, but you can go higher. Uh, that will drain your health whilst you're doing that. If you charge up too much, you gain extra stats. You can see my, above above my character, all my stats are increasing. But the more powerful I get, the more it's going to drain my health. So you kind of want to be healing at the same time as you do that. And then we can we can we can do some crazy stuff. There's you will unlock the abilities later in the game. The game tells us, but early on in the game, like at this stage. You've got a meter underneath your character, you can see beneath my feet there's a meter there, and by using the, the special Orionic abilities, the ability is bound to be, that'll charge that up. So I don't, I, don't th I don't think you need to, I don't think you need to hit anything, you just need to use the abilities, so let's, I, I want to show you the final thing, so yeah, let's do that a couple times. So now that's maxed out, I'm going to, I'm going to charge some more power up whilst, while she's healing me. Let's see if we can get nice and powerful. Because Corio Dan's on a... Oh, it's only 95. I thought it was more expensive than that. So then we've got our, our big final finishing blow kind of thing. Let's see if we can hit both of them with it. I would like to do that. So now... Ah, ultimate ability! Pow! Yeah, that, like, that kind of takes care of a lot of stuff. And I think we've won here. Have we won? We won! Yay! Go us! Huzzahs. So there's XP and whatever we've got. We have leveled up a bit, I guess. Have we? I don't know. It says our stats have gone up, but it doesn't say our level's gone up. That's kind of strange. So there we go. And we can see her stats have not changed, but there you go. That's kind of a very brief overview of the combat system. It's kind of complex. It does have a, the tutorial is fairly lengthy to kind of try to ease you into all of that. But even still, I'm kind of struggling to grasp it all. I think I think with time you'd get the hang of it, but as it is, I'm just yeah, it's, it's a little overwhelming I would say. It's kind of I'm like there's, there's a lot to grasp. The the idea is that they're making a really complex system that allows you to pl play and fight however you choose. They're like they're, they're aiming to make it so it's a really really flexible system that allows you to do anything you want in combat. You you make all the decisions. You are you are. The all powerful one, you can fight in any style you want, but yeah, it's just, just there's, a, there's a lot. There's a lot to take in. It really is. Far more than anything I've seen in any Tales games. I've played a couple of them, and none of them had a system anywhere near as, as complex as that. It's just kind of crazy. So I'll just use some of my Furious Wrath. There we go. Could probably use some more healing. I'll charge up some more power. See if we can do an explosion of rage this fight as well. Come on, give me some healing. I need as much AP as I can get. Get my stats up high. Oh, I'm dying again. The enemies, the most of the trash enemies, at least so far I've seen, they don't seem to put up a lot of fight. I mean, if you get in and just try and melee them, they'll kind of mess you up. But if you can just stand away from them, they won't attack too much. And yeah, I'd be better off if I actually defended a bit, I suppose. But you can just kind of hit them with like that. And I can just get out of the way and heal up. They're not going to follow me. I don't know. Bosses are way more interesting. The bosses are actually pretty interesting. I don't know why she wasn't healing me there, but um, she's out of she's out of energy, so she's not going to be able to continue to heal me. So there's that. Was that everything around here? Yeah, I guess so. By staying out of combat and charging up the really powerful abilities, that kind of makes that a little easy. But as I said, the bosses are reasonably challenging. I wonder if I can actually get to a boss to, here today. I know where there is one that I would like to fight. I think I'm going to have to get back up this cliff to actually be able to get to it. Because they actually put up a genuine challenge. I suppose that's true of most kind of RPG stuff. There's a lot of trash that's really not supposed to be able to kill you terribly easy. And then and then the bosses are the bit that really... That's, that's the real challenge in all of this. 
There are there are a bunch of different kind of perks and things that you can pick up. We'll go into the character screen after this, and you can see you can see some of my some of my meters have kind of got little caps on them. Certainly, AP is the one that's got the cap on it. So it says one one forty five, but I think the cap's supposed to be a little higher than that. And by taking various kind of perks, you can you can kind of you gain extra powers in combat at the cost of not being able to use as many abilities in one go. So I might get myself. Yeah, I'm killed. Whoops. Yep. You know how I said we're not supposed to die to trash? That's because I didn't heal up there. I should have healed up. Alrighty, let's uh, let's try that again, perhaps. Let's head on back up. Load save game. Let's head back to that save. So we're going to be back where we started, I suppose, there. So there's a there's kind of a weird wall climbing system. I mean, I've seen this tutorial because I tried this when I was playing earlier. Uh, you can jump onto the wall, it tells you where you're going to be, he then slowly slides down, you can press X to jump across or Y to jump up. And this drains your stamina over time, so you kind of need to keep eating stamina restoring items. Um, ouch, 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 all of the ouch. Fortunately I've got quite a lot of stamina restoring items, it, the game is pretty generous about that. But if you run out of stamina, you won't be able to climb any higher, you'll just fall off the wall. So you've got to keep an eye on that. That's, that works, that works. That's Dang it. That kind of worked. You can press, I think you can press A, I think it was A to get back onto the wall if you hit a spike. Oh god, get... It's kind of tricky, it's not, it's, this is not, this is not your standard wall jump. This is... complex. Let's jump back across and, ow, god damn. I'm going through a lot of health, I'm going through a lot of stamp. jeez. It's not, it's not a forgiving system. It is absolutely not a forgiving system. And now I'm back at the bottom. Dang it all! Alright, let's try this all again. Jump back across and up. Oh, I didn't mean to let go. Oh, I accidentally let go by pressing A. Oh man, I'm not good at this wall climbing. It When you get to the top, because it, the game recognizes that this is actually a, a reasonably challenging bit. It's not just it's not, it's not just standard wall climb. It's... Oh, god damn! It's brutal. It does give you a teleport when you get to the top. I, in retrospect, I should have saved the game after I did this. I did not. I am an utter fool for not doing so, because I was like, hey, I did it once, I can do it again. No, I can't, apparently. Why the heck? There was a... Oh, man. I was nowhere near that spike, man. The hitboxes on the spikes, I think, are just... Oh, they're, they're unforgivingly large. Oh, come on. <laughs> This is just cruel now. Okay, let's get up there, up there, up there. Are we up? I'm up to the top. Hooray! And then we can talk to the mysterious plants that will act as a teleporter. For some reason everything's done through like plants. That's supposed to be like some sort of... I don't know, the, all the items are kind of hidden in plants as well. It's kind of used as weird kind of containers. I should probably heal up as well. So I'm going to have to use a healing item there to restore my health. I took far too much damage on the spikes. Let's have another fight. Let's have another fight. I'm loving the soundtrack to this. It's a very kind of African feel to a lot of the tracks, which is, you know, appropriate for the style and theme of things. And it's definitely something fairly original. It's not something you're gonna hear in many other games. Most other games are not gonna be based around this culture. And this is something I was talking about in Yotun as well, which is just games being used to explore kind of cultures and ideas and mythologies that you normally wouldn't come across, and I think that's what I'm most intrigued by in all of this. As I say, because I don't know anything about any kind of African mythologies or anything, there's a little bit of me just all the way through it is just like, I, did you make this up, or are these based in actual mythologies? And I, obviously there's going to be kind of a combination of the both, but it's very hard to say what is and isn't. But either way, I'm very intrigued to explore it just to be able to, just to be able to see it, to be honest. It's just, it's just a fascinating thing to be able to explore these cultures that normally you wouldn't be exposed to in normal in the normal course of media. So I think that's a really cool thing. I said it, I said it before. It's, it's I feel like it's a strength of the video games as a medium that we can explore these things and you can get immersed in the world and learn more about things. There's a lot of words that I've no idea how to pronounce or what they mean, but it does it does try to explain some of the stuff. Alrighty, let's see this. So yeah, this is what I mean by items in plants. Hidden inside a plant, we got 25 healing items, 20 AP restoring items, stamina restoring items, more stamina restoring items, and oh right, okay. If I if I if I die, I can be 
restored from death. Okay, that's quite that's quite a potent item, to be honest. I would have normally said surely that would be like game over, but okay. If we go into uh, it's back to bring up the game inventory and the um, interface, not not pause, but okay. Uh, we can go into there. We can see we can see all the different kind of equipments and stuff. We've got status. That's just kind of all of the things that there's an overview of our character and stats and things. We've got inventory. I think we can kind of equip some of these. Some of it is not well translated, I will say. I mean, well, some of it's not translated. I mean, we'll see when I get to a cutscene in a minute. The localization definitely needs some work. I hope that part of the Kickstarter budget will be going towards localization because the English is kind of rough. I'm aware that the the language spoken by the majority of people in Cameroon is French, so this is clearly the, the primary language of the development team as well. You can see part of the like the, the key the key shortcuts or gamepad shortcuts at the bottom there are all in French. And there's a few bits in the game that it's just like, yep, that's French, yep, that's French for some reason. Yeah. And some decoctions? I feel like that's I don't know. That that feels like that's a mistranslation. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but yeah. That's a some decoctions that restores health and AP. So I think with Y you can reassign them. So which one we've got? We've got plus HP, plus AP. Uh, objects, food stuff. So I've got plus 95 stamina, plus 100 stamina. Yeah, you can... Yeah, there we go. So on the D-pad you can then assign different things to do that. So we've got, the, we've got lots of bread, which restores the 80. But I can also equip, equip that, which restores 115. So you could put that on there probably be more useful. I don't know what a trestle is. I don't know if that's a translation issue or not, but there you go. Um, on here we've got... Is that a thing I need to assign to a shortcut? Yeah, it is, isn't it? So it seems like something that would be useful to have on the bar. So if I die, there's literally an item in the inventory that I can use to pick me up. Given that when he falls, it goes straight to game over screen, I'm not sure quite how that works. I've not seen that yet, so... There you go. We go to equipments, that standard RPG type stuff, it boosts different stats, that one boosts his health, defense, and resistance, but reduces his ability to cast fire abilities. Well, to be fair, I'm using a lot of fire abilities, so I'm not keen on that. Got some other things that are available to them, but I haven't unlocked a lot of stuff just yet. Uh, there is, actually, there is uh, there are items for Erine as well. I don't I, again, don't quite know how to pronounce her name. I feel like it would be really nice to see some voice acting in this, so that maybe you could actually get like a lot of the pronunciations that would a lot of that would come across. A lot of these are words that you like. Chances are I'm pronouncing all of this wrong. It'd be really cool to get some authentic voice acting. I don't know what the voice the voiceover industry scene is like in Cameroon, but it'd be really cool to get some kind of authentic African voice acting to to fill out the cast for this. I think that'd be really cool to see. So that one gives her reduced fire abilities, but better ice abilities and some higher defense and resistance. Since she doesn't show up in the combat too much, outside of just kind of appearing to cast an ability and then vanishing again, I'm not really sure why she needs all those different stats and things. It, it doesn't seem like she can lose health, because she just kind of goes, poof, here's some healing, and then vanishes again. Well, when's she taking a hit to actually die? She can't die, surely? I don't know, kind of a confusing one in that regard, I will say. But yeah, that's that's different equipment. Orion's obviously the interesting one. They're the ones that give us all the crazy different abilities. Uh, part of the interface, you have to press Y to bring this up. I don't see why that's kind of off to one side. You might, you should just have that by default. You have to press Y to bring it up, and then press B to go back. You could just leave that up. So that's the abilities you get. Uh, Infinity Scanner, Ancestral Rush, and then we unlock Coriodon's honor by filling up the bar. And then on Wrath, we've got Aggressive Outburst, Furious Combo, and a really expensive explosion of rage that requires me to overload my meter in order to be able to use it. That, yeah, that's that's the super ability for that one. And you, you, these kind of, the Orions kind of have their own levels as well, so you're kind of leveling up two different systems. You know what I said about it being complex? Yeah, it's complex. We've got evolution as well down here. I, it's, I, I'm not even sure about this, but it seems like each of, the, each of the abilities have their own levels as well. So, Shaka's Fist is level zero. Spark of Wrath is level one. And then we've got, these are the ones I was saying would cost you kind of permanent, not necessarily permanent, but it would cap your AP meter. So, mobile shield, normally you can't use your shield to block whilst you're walking around, but if you're willing to reduce your AP cap by 5, you can now block whilst walking around. Later on, presumably, we'll unlock block while running, which, yeah, requires you to be level 25 by looks of things. 
Oh, that's what it is. I, I, oh, I, I see. I've completely misinterpreted that. Yeah, it's that's what level these things are unlocked unlocked at. So that's literally just dawned on me. Because on uh under yeah, it says requirements on the left, and then says the level on the right. So I just it's only just dawned on me that the level was the requirements there. So yeah, so level twenty five, we'll unlock the ability to, to reduce our cap by ten AP, and that will allow me to block while running. And then at level forty, you can block whilst you're in the air as well. You can jump and then block, which is kind of cool. And yeah, if you want to stack stack those, I guess you could reduce things by twenty five to be able to block whilst running and while and while in the air. So all these are going to make you more powerful, but they're going to reduce the amount of abilities you can use at one time before having to stop and recharge. So I've got this one equipped, which is whilst reloading AP, you reload stamina too. So when I press down to charge that up, it'll recharge stamina. That seems like a pretty useful one that's quite nice to have. So I've taken that as well. Most of these are actually really nice to have. So I could see myself taking a lot of these, but obviously you can kind of fine tune it to your playstyle. If you find yourself not using a lot of aerial abilities, chances are you might not be wanting to take the stuff that buffs your aerial stuff and give yourself an extra 15 AP. So, as, you, as I say, they're kind of really trying to customize it to people's playstyle. You can fight the way you like to fight. If, you, if all your combat is, like, using heavy on aerial abilities, you can take all the perks that are going to make you more, more aerial orientated. But if, you're, if you find yourself not using those, well, you, you can trade it off for some AP instead. So you can actually hit more times with the abilities you have available to you. So, yeah, there's a lot going on, a lot to take in. Let's head on over here. Let's do a boss fight. I think I'm only kind of scratching the surface of all this, which is just ridiculous. But yeah, we'll show you a boss fight and then I'll probably wrap this up. I'm going to get a bit of a cutscene here, a little bit of dialogue. So you get to see some of the some of the translation work. Obviously, as I say, French is kind of the primary language. So I imagine if you play if you were to play this in French, chances are it would be you probably it, the cutscenes would probably feel a little bit less janky. And I really, really hope that some of the Kickstarter budget is going to go to an actual hiring a hiring a high quality localization team to properly translate this into English really well. So we're not sure because it skips the story. A lot of this is kind of out of context. This is just here's here's some premise for a boss fight. Really, we haven't really seen the story up to this point, so I don't know why we're here fighting this guy. All we know is some big burly guy who's trying to steal this guy's wife because because he's a terrible person, and we're gonna go stop him. So he's gonna go do a flying kick into the guy's face, which is hilarious. This is what I mean about some of the animations being quite low frame rate compared to the game, which is running at 60. A lot of those kind of movement, it's like some of them are just running at much much lower frame rates. I don't know, in some regards I guess it's kind of stylized, but in other regards it just kind of feels not great. Which is a shame, because like I say, the artwork is phenomenal. Okay, now this guy wants to actually fight us. So, he's going to have a lot of similar abilities to us. He's going to have his own set of Orions and stuff. He's, he's going to... He's going to be able to charge up and do extra abilities, and then he's got, like, he has an ultimate ability to, as well, which you don't want to get hit by. If you can avoid that, you probably should. So, here we go. Let's fight. Let us fight. These are the ones that are going to be really challenging. I tried fighting this guy once already and didn't beat him, so <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to go. We'll find out. Okay, now we can go. So, he, he moves fast and hits hard, which is surprising for such a big guy. I think, my, I think my best bet is to get my Orions on the go pretty quick. So, let's go into a Wrath mode. He has a good guard, so you have to hit him with charged hits. I want to stay out of combat as much as possible. I'm going to charge up my AP. Uh, for some reason, my perk that was supposed to charge up my stamina doesn't seem to be charging it up very well, but... Ah, jeez. Let me charge, guy. I'm going to spend most of my abilities... Most of my, most of my power... Most of my wife's power using heals just to keep me alive, I think. But, yeah, let's, let's heal up. Okay, now I should be able to hit him with some powerful stuff. Yeah. He's guarding, but if you hit him enough times, you can do a guard break. So, now that did some damage. So, he's going to hit, he's going to, he's going to use his Orion, his perversion Orion, which is, uh, yeah. It's kind of, kind of weird. He's got pervert charge? I don't know. 
It seems like... That's it. Oh, oh, is this going to be his final... Oh, ultimate, yeah. That's going to be his final ability. I kind of don't want to get involved in that. Yeah. He got that off the... Jeez. Jeez. He got that off pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, well, that was pretty decent of her, but I actually wanted a healing ability, to be honest. That's what I wanted. I want to be topped up. I'm going to charge that. And then can I... Ah, oh, man, I want to use my final ability. I want to use that explosion of rage. Come on. Right. There we go. Yeah, that, that, that should have done some damage. I need you to heal me again. I really do. Get healed. If you don't stand in exactly the right place, that just doesn't heal you very well. Okay. Don't think I hit him, did it? You can see he's got his meter underneath him, so he's probably going to use his final ability soon. Which means I probably want to be healed up. No, he broke my guard. That's not good. Hit him a few times with that. I don't know if I'm going to win this, but I'm going to try. Legacy dis- Oh, I ran out- Did I run out of AP? I did. I must have- I must have done. I don't know how, because it still said I had like 45. But, yeah, I've got to get that charged up. If the AP meter hits zero, you just lose your power. And you don't want to do that. I'm pretty low on stamina the whole time as well. Okay, let's do that. Got some power. I can now hit him. With all the good stuff. So if I can get my if I can get my final ability off, that should be good. But it's going to require some charging up. See, I'm not. You can. They've got gifs and videos and stuff of the combat on their Kickstarter page, which makes it look really elegant and complex. And I'm my combat style in this is. Very, very crude, just because, I don't know, I, just, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't get a handle on using it well. Uh-oh. Let's just get out of here, if I can. Let's get some healing on the go. Oh, God. Oh, my God, I've still got healing on the go. Right. Now, yeah, now you get mine. That work? Almost. And there we go. I've lost. I've lost my my legacy is disconnected, so I'm gonna have to charge up some. Really? You're gonna use two in a go two in a row? Oh god! Let me out of here. Let me recharge. Ah! Oh god, this is brutal. Oh, okay, you're gonna do that. I kind of wanted you to heal me, but okay, it's fine. She's got the AP to do. Okay, she totally doesn't have the AP to heal me again. So this is gonna have to work. Gonna have to do this. And that. And that. And that. And that. And there we go. I don't know what Niv 10 means, but I presume it's leveling up. So I got quite a lot of XP out of that. Yeah, we leveled we leveled up to level 10 for defeating that guy because he just had so much XP. I I get the impression the characters feel maybe a little underleveled for that, I'm not sure. It's kind of crazy that a boss would take you up three levels, but whatever. I defeated him. That's awesome. So Orions have leveled up. Stats have leveled up. There's kind of a lot going in that I just haven't wrapped my head around yet. I don't. I don't know what Kyotas is, to be honest. It's yeah, a lot. A lot of stuff going on that I haven't wrapped my head around. But I just kind of want to be. I, I do want to get involved in this world. I do want to be immersed in this world, just because it's like I say, it's an interesting thing that's not well explored. So I imagine we'll get some kind of cutscene here. So as I say, yeah, if you want to go check this out yourself, because I think this is totally something that... This is a, this seems like a project that's absolutely worth supporting. I'm super keen on supporting things that kind of explore cultures and ideas and mythologies that just aren't normally done. As I said with Jotun as well, or Jotun or whatever the heck it was called. Um, Jotun is what it was. It's just... It, it's such a cool idea and such a cool thing, and I would love to see this succeed. So the Kickstarter is currently has nine days to go. They're at 33,000 euros out of 40,000 euros that they want. And 20 euros will get you the full game at launch. And they're looking, if all goes according to plan, to release this in April 2016. And I would love to see that happen. I think I, the game obviously is still rough. I, I, I'm, I've touched on quite a lot of things that are just kind of not quite right at the minute. But, you know, 
Kickstarter money could be used to add a lot of polish to this. I think with with some polish, with the funds to add the polish to the game that it needs. Oh, we been, we finished the demo. Hey, cool. Uh, yeah, if you add the polish, to, if they, if they had the funds to add the polish to the game that it that it needs right now, then yeah, this this could be really fantastic, and I'd love to see that happen. I feel like I skipped out a lot of that because, quite frankly, that boss is really, really close to where you start the game after it throws you to the late game. So I'm pretty sure I skipped out a lot of stuff. I think there's a lot more in that demo that I missed, but I just kind of knew where that boss was and I wanted to show you the boss. But yeah, there we go. That is Orion, Legacy of the Cory Odan. I'm not convinced I did that just the justice it needs, but as a game, I, really, I, I love the idea, I love the concept, I love seeing these kind of things, and I'd love to see it successful. So there you go. I'll, there'll be a link to the Kickstarter in the description below if you want to check that out. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I've been Maroka, and I will see you next time.